Now let's talk filters. Filters are at the most basic level, a piece of glass or plastic that we typically place in front of our lens, either with an adapter or by screwing it onto the front. They do a variety of things from simply protection to altering the image itself, often improving our images while shooting so we don't need to edit them in post. This enables us to make certain colors pop more, reflections disappear, darken only parts of our frame, and much, much more. One thing to know about filters is that you need to make sure they will fit onto the front of your lens. The filter size in millimeters needs to match the size of your lens. It's important not to confuse this with the focal length of your lens, but rather the diameter of the lens, which can be found written on the end of most lenses with the O with a little slash through it. You can buy adapters if your filter is any larger than the front of your lens, but not if your lens is larger than the filter. The filter that most of us will use initially is the UV filter. The UV filter, or ultraviolet filters, are most commonly known as a way of protecting your lens from dust, smudges, scratches, and whatever else could potentially damage your lens. The concept is that instead of risking something damaging the front piece of your expensive lens, it damages the $100 filter instead. Beyond that, UV filters shouldn't have any effect on your actual image. They do block ultraviolet light, which is harmful, and although I've never seen the effect, people say it can be damaging to your camera's sensor or to the film. In terms of filter brands, we recommend Tiffin or B&W. The second most common filter would be the polarizer. These filters can be used in a number of ways, but most commonly, they're used to reduce reflected light. Typically, you can use these to take out reflections in glass or on large bodies of water, but also, when consider all the light that bounces off the sky, you can help reduce this, effectively making the sky seem bluer. This makes them great for landscape photography. They do reduce the light entering your lens, so make sure there is plenty of light when you are using them. Neutral density filters are another fairly common filter. These essentially reduce the amount of light that enters your camera. These are great for long exposure photography during the day, they move in a scale of 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.9, 1 1.2, 1 1.5, 1 1.8, all the way to 5.0, and with each increase of 0 0.3 equaling one stop of light. With ND filters, you are able to shoot with a slow shutter even if there is a lot of light out. This results in a cool motion blur effect, great for photographing water, moving clouds, and other motion during the day. You can also get variable ND filters they have a range of darkness all in one filter. You just spin them and the image gets darker. From there, we get into even more creative filters. These are great for preventing the need or desire to do a lot of post-processing on your images in the editing room. Gradient filters are basically half normal glass and half filter. There are a number of types of gradients, but they are most commonly used for photos with sky in them. The top half would typically filter the sky either darkening it or changing the color, and the bottom would remain unaffected. With this, you can have more balanced exposure if the lower half of your image is in the shade and the top half is much brighter. Color correction filters actually change colors in your image, either tinting the entire image or making certain colors pop more. These are especially great with nature or landscape photos when you want blues or greens to pop more. Another fun filter would be the cross screen or star filter. These are pretty straightforward. They transform any light source into a star shape. There are varying types of these and can have various looks to them. Hopefully by now you understand what a filter is and what it does. To start out, definitely purchase UV filters to protect each of your lenses. Then move on to purchasing other filters if you want to get more creative.